Hey everybody, welcome back to Know Thy User, a podcast by Rival Mind. We're into uh, episode number two in a, a three-part series that we're doing that we're calling The Sweet Spot. Uh, we've been talking about trade-offs for uh, abstraction. So today we're going to dive a little bit deeper into something that's near and dear to my heart, mm -hmm. uh, which is content management systems. So um, really the the two main sides of this conversation jared are ease of use and performance mm -hmm. um so talk to me a little bit about ease of use and then what does that mean in our abstraction mm -hmm. conversation yeah absolutely so ease of use when we say ease of use in this context we're talking about how easy is it to change the content on your website how simple is it to add an image make a couple columns um, and at a very high level of abstraction, it's, it's just like opening a file. It's very easy. You can drag and drop. You can change the color. Easy. Everything is editable. Everything is clickable, movable. Um, and high abstraction, there's going to be a trade-off. Typically, these type of systems have lower performance in terms of website page loading speed because of the high abstraction. And that's it. So that's the, the other side, the performance side. Can mm -hmm. you give us an example or what does it mean to kind of, you, you know, if you were headed towards the Ferrari, <laughs> like what is it that, that you would be looking to do from a performance standpoint? content management system style. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, really the, the key with performance is minimizing the number of bytes that you're sending down the wire when your website loads. Yeah. So to do that, you can take a number of approaches. You can hard code your website. You can use more of a middle of the road kind of management system that has less flexibility in terms of editing your site, but often are more optimized for performance. Yeah. So. Let's flip back to ease of use. Who are the big players in our space right now that are that are doing the ease of use the best? Mm -hmm. And it, and and then you know how is it that they're doing in the market to uh, push their side of our trade-off argument? Yeah. So the big the big players that come to my mind are Wix and Squarespace. Yeah. So these are are platforms that are great for getting a website up and running really quick. They're very easy to use. They have predefined templates. You mm -hmm. can drag and drop. Um, typically, they don't perform very well. That's right. <laughs> so again, flip to the other side. If you, you know, if you don't have the ease of use component, then we're kind of eliminating part of the market share. So yeah. just like you and I, uh, I like to say that, you know, we're just mere mortals while you can actually take something uh, in the performance realm and, and make it be something. So what, what type of uh, skills do you have to have to be able to step away from these drag and drop builders and be able to build something very performance based? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So stepping away from the drag and drop builders requires more technical knowledge, certainly. Yeah. Um, the far end of the extreme is just hard coding your website, straight up HTML, straight up PHP, .NET, whatever server side language you want to use, but most people don't have the time and energy to devote to doing that, yep. obviously. So I guess like where we're headed in our trade-off conversation is how do we find that middle of the road? Mm -hmm. um, because obviously this is a industry-wide issue or problem. Um, so where can you find you know the intersecting points for ease of use mm -hmm. and performance. Who's doing that? How are they doing that? So some of the really big players trying to find the sweet spot, I would say are mainstream CMSs like WordPress and Drupal mm -hmm. that can be fast if you develop for speed, but also as you add abstraction, as you add plugins in WordPress, as you add a drag and drop editor to WordPress, yeah. you're adding layers of abstraction that are killing your performance. Yeah. So while it's possible to have decent performance or decent abstraction, often you kind of are in the middle of the road and not hitting either necessarily. Right. So I know that for us at Rival Mind, you know, we've we've done extensive research trying to find mm -hmm. that sweet spot. Yeah. Not just for um, 
ease of use for whoever the end user is, mm -hmm. like essentially our clients, mm -hmm. being able to move things, do things on their website like they would want to, mm -hmm. but also in the build process itself, we're trying to find that middle road for the greatest, you know, greatest amount of not you having to do every <laughs> single thing, yeah. but then also uh, having good performance because yeah. we are an SEO company and that's extremely important Very to important. us. All of these ranking factors that we're trying to hit, and we mm -hmm. know that page load speed is a huge one. Um, so I know for us, we use Duda. Can you give us mm -hmm. just a little bit of a breakdown on your on yeah. your expert opinion on where Duda falls for this abstraction performance intersection? Absolutely, yeah. So Duda is obviously not perfect, but it does a good job of getting close to what I would call the sweet spot. Um, one of the reasons for this is Duda is de designed from the ground up to be a drag and drop editor mm -hmm. that is fast. So with WordPress, if you add a drag and drop plugin, you're taking WordPress and making it be something it's not. Yeah. You're adding layers of abstraction, you're gonna slow it down. Yep. Um, Wix and Squarespace aren't built with speed in mind at yep. all. Yep. They might say they are, they just aren't. <laughs> yeah. Whereas Duda, they put speed, they make it a priority, but also make ease of use a priority. Yeah. And so you, you see sites that are pretty fast that often outperform WordPress sites, but that are very, very easy to use like a Wix or Squarespace. Yep. So that's it for content management system that's where we land you know as rival mind mm -hmm. we are due to enterprise partners we're using this as our preferred platform as we continue to build websites um, as we move into our next episode uh, we're gonna maybe shift a little bit and talk about complexity of design and mm -hmm. complexity of features versus speed and performance so we hope to see you there <laughs>